Look at that jumbo drawing. That's pretty cool, man. Oh, that thing's got a fresh set of tires. Who saw the sticker still on the tires? You guys ready? Come on, Cletus. Yes! Yes! Ready to go! Two, three, then we hit it. Ready? One, two, three. Anticipation is killing me. Right, so here it is. I hear him off in the distance. Ladies and gentlemen, so this thing that? is going to be coming in like here. Not 20, I like that. Not 30, Crack. not 40. 60, oh, I hear one. You know what? I think you're right. Man, that things are loud. Oh,
I think these uh, are in for more trouble. Absolutely. like the Dukes of Hazzard, you gotta have Roscoe come out. You gotta know? have it. I tell you what, Cletus has got this burnout done. Let's give a big hand for Kraken and Excalibur. And it was one team flipped a t-shirt to see who was actually going to qualify. Did it land heads or tails? I don't know what was heads or what was tails. And I know he said you're qualified. Three by three start with these vans. Let's go green flag is in the air. Let's go racing, y'all. Listen, put the hammer down. Well, that van got quite the... Whoa, you can't miss the kidney beam. You can't oh. stop the bus stop. That doesn't work. That's a shortcut. That's a bold move. Let's see if it pays off. I don't think you it's going to pay off. I don't I think, think it was legal. You think that the suspension's going to hold up to that? Bet you won't do it again. I mean, he, when he was supposed to turn, he didn't turn and just took the jump. And he continues to do it. <laughs> what a jump. Let's go. I give him an A for effort. There is no doubt in that. I believe. Was that two dollars? Oh, we've got another one. We're, I think he may be out. <laughs> that was a hard landing. All right, we're being told each van has to do the jump at least one time. You know, yep, he took a hard bump on that last one. I figured his his not may be over there. Yeah, he's pretty much pulled to the infield, but we got quite the battle for the lead here. Again, they're gonna go for 10 laps, and once again, you have to do that jump on the back straightaway at least once. I don't know, the Duke's a Hazard fan in me would take that jump every time I was out there. Here goes one. Let's go! to the jump. He hit that thing full speed. And he is not going to give it up. Yeah, let's hear it. <laughs> right now, the 18 of Travis Pastrana, he is actually leading this race. 
We've completed four laps. We're coming to halfway. Those sliding doors are got some contact on the back stretch. How did he save it? That is a driver right there. We have got a straight dog fight for the lead, y'all. That's Josh Hall and Travis Pastrana fighting for the lead right now. Three laps to go in the Van Pre-10. You know, I take it back, this kind of does look like the car pickup line. The way my wife drives. <laughs> <laughs> we have got quite the battle between these two. Pastrana right now leading with two laps to go. Josh Hall close in. They run the high line through turns one and two. What a great shot from our drone. Really appreciate that shot. Josh Hall goes low in three and four. Gets right up beside Pastrana. Side by side. White Taking flag. The white flag is in the air. Josh Hall takes the lead in that 55 man. What will Pastrana oh. do? Pastrana is driving the wheels. Here we go. We've got two jumps to the jump. Let's go. I think that's going to do Pastrana in right there, but he's no, not he's still go rolling. In. Josh Hall can't get going. Here comes Josh Hall. Pastrana making a run in it. Josh Hall is And 29 feet from the minivan. All right. I got to give a huge shout out to Josh who won, but also Jim York for putting this together with Power Plus, with Power Plus the Van Prix. Thank you to Jim York and all the van racers. Let's hear it. Peter will get to choose, not the whole field, but I think pretty much as they proclaimed, it'll be uh, some of these crown picks. I like it. You'll want to choose Justin, in the words of the late, great Ken Squire, Grandma, take your false teeth out, put them in your purse. It's going to be big here directly. Rest in peace, brother. Let's go racing. Just about went around, saved it. He's going to lose several spots. We are beating and banging all the way around the track. You know, you'll have that on those big jobs. Ninety-seven car. B.J. Bowen got quite the run on the high side through one and two. He's going to drive away by two or three car lengths, headed out of the bus stop through turns three and four. B.J. Baldwin, a two-time Baja 1000 driver that 97. Got a battle for second. Shake it up there as they come out of the bus stop. Over off into turn three, but Cowboy Cerrone, he's going to hold that second spot. B.J. Baldwin, he was rim riding through three and four that time, the leader of the race. See how high he's going up there? He, he comes out of the, the bus stop up into turn three and goes right up against the wall. I think that gives him a good run down the front straightaway. Because he definitely runs a little bit lower through one and two. We've spread out a little bit, but they're still staying pretty grouped up in, in groups of two, except for the except for the first place and, and probably like the fifth place. We've got quite a battle here back for about six, seventh, and eighth. See that 43 car, Wyatt Booster Boys, lost a lot of ground on that first lap. He's falling all the way back 
to about 10th in that 43 car. You know who else has had a rough time finding their way up the, up the, through traffic? Kevin with KSR. Lots of patience though, patience is virtue. It's hit by Cowboy Cerrone and the caution will fly right now. He was trying to get back around, I think, to get into the outside line. Here we go really with Laggins. They've got, they've got a problem there. Just really stack that outside line up. Let it around, Tanner Chips. Come on with it. The 39 AZ just could not get going on that restart. That's Jason Bowman. Caution will fly again. That 101 guy. We have got a lot of contact coming out of that bus stop area. That's where it gets exciting, especially after a restart. Jonathan with Hunt the front. The real loser on this restart has been Cowboy Cerrone in that 412 car. He has followed all the way back to the sixth spot. We do have a, uh, we've got a battle for the lead with Jonathan. Hunt the front and ZZ Drew. Yeah, ZZ Drew, he did not even know he was going to be running this race until earlier this morning. There he is up here battling for the lead. That 43 car is driving the wheels off of it and bouncing all over the place. We do have quite the battle for the to lead. The LS George in that 2369, he has moved up there to the third spot. 2X69. We've already got a car sideways. We got it. We got beating and banging in our leader, 1776, Zach Millennial Farmer. Oh. He's in trouble. 47 car, he's in trouble. Alex Laughlin, who was running second. 47 car is in the back. We stay green. So now the 38. There's Pastrana with about everything dragging on the <laughs> car but the roof. He's still driving the wheels off of it, though. So, Do we have lights go out on the back stretch? We've lost our lights. I don't know if that's by design or not. <laughs> White flag, though, for Joseph at the front, light or no lights. Only car I can see going through there is Pastrana because he has the lights on top. Joseph at the front. Through the bus stop, got a little bit of lap traffic to navigate. Final time through turns three and four. All he's got to do is just bring it to the house. Joseph Hunt the front wins the 2023 244 Iowa. Presented by Black Rifle Coffee, we got Hunt the Front, Joseph, and Jonathan. Hey, boys, right here. Thank you so much for coming. Safe travels home.